The intelligence bobblehead, a hidden terminal 99% of the players have not ever seen before, as it's cut content, and a story of saving knowledge inside the Boston Public Library. This place is jam-packed full of things to do. It's also a war zone between Protectrons and Super Mutants. It has two entrances. One is Copley Station, which you'll have to fight through a squad of Super Mutants in order to reach the entrance. Uh, to the Boston Public Library or alternatively we could go over here and you could talk to the intercom You can pretend to be the mayor and if you pass a speech check, you'll be allowed straight in Otherwise, you have to pick an advanced lock, which is easy enough. Either way, once you go inside The fun truly begins. Now don't move because in front of you is a tripwire connected to a grenade bouquet If you jump across it the security system will activate saying that some people have broken in. Super mutants will blast through from Copley Station and start attacking the Protectrons. But don't worry, they are all friendly to you, well, if you pass the speech check. If you unlock the door, they won't be friendly. So bear that in mind, it's probably best you do the speech check. Now, the main prize in here is right at the back. Jumping past everyone and all the carnage, you can pick up the intelligence bobblehead. It'll give you plus one to your intelligence. It really doesn't get much better than that. The hidden terminal, of course, is located just behind this. Console players can go through here. Um, if you use a jetpack to the skylight, apparently you can get around here. But this is the BPL mainframe. When you activate it, It'll say that you can compress data to hollow tape. If I was to do that, it completes some sort of cut quest line and gives me about 250 XP. Again, it is very sad that this was cut. And the story attached to it can actually be found from a body over here. This is Curator Givens, who was trying to save as much knowledge as possible. But the master lock door here contains a lot of items that we want access to. If you want to get straight in, head over here and you can just pick up the lab storage key and go straight in. Otherwise, we're going to have a read at the terminal. Log number one. It's getting more and more difficult, but we were able to get a hold of a few more books today. While I was scanning them in, I overheard Dalen telling Shelby that we should just compress the archives now and get out of here. I thought about smacking him upside his head, but I don't blame him for wanting to cut and run. It's been tough. We've lost so many, but it's all worth it, right? I mean, if we don't protect the knowledge stored in these machines, who will? I told them that they could leave whenever they wanted. I'm not going to force them to stay if they don't believe what we're doing here then it's better if they just get out of our way. If we don't collect everything, what's the point? Next log. We've lost a few more, including Shelby. She will be missed, but I know she wouldn't have it any other way. What we're doing here is important. There are still a lot of books left. This knowledge will help future generations. It's up to us to keep pressing on. I can't keep the bots repaired anymore. The mutants are hitting us at least once a day. Unless we get help, it's only a matter of time before they wipe us out completely. This may be the last log I write. If it is, all I ask is that the person reading this does the right thing. Help us protect the information stored on the computers in the data room. The key to the storage room is behind the terminal. There are some supplies you may find there useful. Please, only use them if you're going to further our cause. The terror controlled protectron control it doesn't really matter at this point because either they will be friendly with you, to which deactivating them doesn't make much sense because super mutants are coming, or, you know, you probably had to kill them all to get to the terminal. Either way, I don't know why controls are there. And it only controls the ones in this room. There are a number of Protectrons elsewhere. The amount of super mutants, it comes in a wave of 10, followed by another wave of 10. They'll enter via the door we came in, so they'll activate the grenade bouquet, which should take out a good few of them. The protectrons and turrets will do the rest for you. It's more than likely they'll be able to deal with all the super mutants. A bit of help from you goes a long way, though. Once you unlock this door, you can pick up everything you need. Stealth boys, ammo, lots of stuff from the steamer trunk, and food. That'll keep you going for a good bit. This is the data storage room. So again, that terminal looks like it should have been somewhere in this room for you to complete some quest line, which I imagine would have involved holding the super mutants back long enough 
for the transmission to be downloaded. This door is chained on the other side. Fun fact, this door will actually be chained depending on which entrance you use. If you use the other one, it'll be chained at this side. If you enter from here, it's obviously changed at the other side. Heading past a lot of dead super mutants, and I mean a lot. Like, look, there's the first squad. They will instantly trigger that tripwire when they walk in. So it could end up that you don't have to deal with them. Also, two legendaries will spawn. Again, something you'll have to bear in mind and prepare for. There's a lot of fighting in the library. You know, it's not as quiet as it probably should be. When you go from room to room, you can find plenty of overdue books. Lots of things in filing cabinets and protectrons just roaming about the area. The other entrance, as I was talking about earlier, is Copley Station down here. We will go have a look just after I show you the other door here. So this is the side that you can unchain. Again, giving you two ways to deal with super mutants. You might have to do a bit of kiting. In this main room, there is a return terminal that was also in the first room. Uh, this one does not have the uh, the Massachusetts book that you do need. So don't use this one, use the other one, and you need about 50 tokens. So it's a fair amount of books, so get collecting and return as many as you can. When you're going down here, right above, there is another grenade trap, although this one has been triggered. And as you can see, it took out a number of super mutants that didn't get very far. So again, whichever way you go in... Don't let the trap go off because it will help you greatly later on. Like there's a machine gun wielding one that never got a chance. Alright, let's head on in to Copley Station. This place you can use the intercom similarly to the way we went in the other direction. So bear that in mind if you need to use it. There are several super mutants dotting this uh, particular station. It's mainly made up of this side of the platform and the inside of the train. Plenty of suitcases, so if there is a certain suit you're looking for, you might get quite lucky. What you do want to do is when you get to the part where the trains split, is go over here. There was a little chem trader that was uh, set up here, although this dynamic duo didn't last too long when the super mutants moved in. Although their chem operation is still very much alive and you can use it at your own convenience. You cannot break the wooden boards, even though it looks like they would be incredibly easy to do so. So you'll have to go the way we just came in, which shouldn't be too much of a hassle. When you're accident, make sure to pick up everything from the first cart here. As there's a wee duffel bag and plenty of suitcases. Lots of pre-war money too, so it seems there must have been someone with a fair fortune trying to get out of the city when the bombs fail. There's a super mutant suicider present on the track as well. So again, he will normally, when you start firing on the guy that defends the lobby area here, he'll start running up the stairs. Again, you have to be very quick because if he gets too close, it's going to be a bad day all round. Pick up the wee cap stash in the urinal here and you will be good to go. Wow, it's amazing where they put meat bags. If you're wondering where the super mutants attacking this place have come from, the Boston Public Library is in a very unfortunate location. Trinity Plaza overrun, as is Trinity Tower, where of course the boss of the super mutants is located, as is Strong, the friendly super mutant. So they've pretty much got this entire square covered, and unfortunately this is just the next place they had their eyes on. And these, uh, well, Curator Givens was unfortunately there. Dylan, his body was outside at the opposite side of the terminal, although he has nothing unique on him. And that, my friends, is the comprehensive guide to the Boston Public Library. Hope you learned something new today, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching.